Okay. Uh, I missed out on the Silent Hill. Of course, they already spoiled it with Silent Hill 2 Remake. Uh, let's just look up Silent Hill. Um, our event. They did a whole ass stream. Damn, that's an hour and a half. I'm not trying to watch that. This one's at least 48 minutes. I don't even know if I'll watch all of that. What the fuck is all this? First 10 minutes are useless. So it's really only 38 minutes. Don't know if I'll finish it in this viewing, but we'll start it. If it's interesting enough, we'll finish it, and then that'll be it. I did hear PT's coming back, and this looks like it's... Well, it's actually... No, this is probably the Silent Hill 2 remake. Never mind. Because it starts off in a bathroom. Didn't play much of Silent Hill 2. Um, played it on the PS3 collection, which everyone says is abysmal, and I kind of regret playing that version, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. I had a PS2, I could easily play that version if I just bought that, but that, you know, would have been more expensive. I, that still should have been the way I went about it, but I didn't, unfortunately. Played on PS3, didn't finish it, didn't get that far. I got annoyed at a certain point in one of the first fucking major buildings you're in and just stop playing it. I am looking to, now that it's been like almost a decade, go back to Silent Hill 2 and play it. And this remake is literally the perfect version or way to uh, do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. You can actually Could see his really fucking here? face and like what it really looks like. It looks so fucking blurry on PS2 or even 3. Waiting for me. He looks so Mary much different. That damn disease three years ago. So much detail. So soulless in the original. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Is that the bitch from the uh, grave town or the the graveyard? Silent Hill. Bloodbird team. Yeah, he definitely looks way different. I Pyramid know head. What you are. That's a, yeah, that's a little girl. I remember the scene. I know why I needed you. This is definitely the best game they could have remade, though. Out of the Silent Hill. Well. I would argue one, two. But it's all over now. But two is infamously known as the best one. I do want to remake a one, though. What the fuck? I don't need you anymore. Oh shit. I definitely need to play the original on PS2 now. Mary? Mary had a little lamb. Oh god. Definitely looks a lot more scary in uh, HD. Like proper HD. <laughs> Wish list now. Just says PS5 though, it doesn't say anything about PC. So it might be a PS5 exclusive. In which case, even more the reason to try and get a PS5. 
願いしますよろしくお願いしますその第一弾としてサイレントヒル2をリメイクいたします伊藤さんにお声がけしたからそろそろ3年ですよねいやでも,で,、ね、でもこうしてこのタイトルをまたこう再出できる I, I like the vlog they got <laughs> 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 Very fitting. Even if it's just green screen with a smoke effect, it works. <laughs> いや、そうなんですよ。あの、岡本さんにあの苦情されてましたから。そのことにあの本当にファンからいろいろ質問されて、それを乗り切りたいと交わすのが大変でして。いや、僕らもちょっと脇で見ていて、あのちょっとドキ
コナミってサイレントヒルに関しては世界中のチームから毎年のように提案をいただくんですけれども、はい、その中でも彼らは最もですね情熱的ですごく愛を感じました、えー、素晴らしい伊藤さんも一緒にポーランド行きましたよねはいあの今年の世界あの寒いポーランド行きました<笑> It was very cold. 何度も何度もねあのお酒を飲み、はい、語り合い、はいはいでもカムさんがね、こう酔っ払って<笑><笑>えそうですね、あの一緒にもうあのお酒を飲みながらホラーゲームの未来そしてあのサイレントで未来について熱く語り、はい、そしてゲームを一緒に作るっていうことですねはい、はい、ところでですね、えー、先ほどの映像にもロゴが出ておりましたけれどもサイレントヒル2はプレイステーション5で発売予定ですそこでプレイステーション5の発売元のソニーインタラクティブエンターテインメントさんからもコメントをいただいておりますビデオメッセージをどうぞご覧ください。Hello everyone, my name is Christian Svensson and I'm the vice. We and we spent a lot of money to make this an exclusive. So please buy the PS5, even though it's very hard to. Just fucking kill your mother if you have to. Vice President of Global Third Party Relations at Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm extremely excited to hear about the announcement of Silent Hill 2. Congratulations, this is definitely a celebratory moment and we're looking forward to bringing Silent Hill 2 exclusively to PlayStation 5. Being huge That's fans of the franchise,、crazy. our team at SIE. I guess it makes sense. It was exclusive on PlayStation 2, wasn't it? I think it was. Let me. I'm pretty sure it was, but I have to make sure. Oh no, it came out on Xbox? The original? Restless Dream? No, I don't think it was. I don't know. Silent Hill 1 on Xbox? Maybe it was originally. Yeah, I think it was originally a PlayStation game to begin with, with Silent Hill 1. So, you know, that makes sense. It all adds up. I was fortunate and excited to support the revival of Silent Hill. Okamoto-san, we eagerly. And I mean, that was just an easy fucking grab from Sony to be like, hey, we got Silent Hill 2 remake, motherfuckers. Get our shit. You wait hearing more about what's in store for this beloved franchise. Thank you again for your partnership. I like the word they use, Silent Hill Transmission. Oh, yeah, thank you. Silent Hill is a PlayStation to come to the next series. PlayStation to come to the next series. PlayStation to come to the next series. プレイステーションの件発売できて非常に嬉しいですね。皆様のサイレントヒル2に寄せる期待がすごいですね。私自身サイレントヒル2の大ファンなので、もうお話聞いてるだけでますます楽しみになってきました。ありがとうございます。You're part of the ファンの皆様にはですね、あの本日からプレイステーション5のスタートページもオープンしていますので、そちらの方もチェックしてみてください。よろしくお願いします。そうなんですね。わかりました。ファンとしてすぐにチェックさせていただきます。She's like, oh really? I didn't know that. それでは、今回はこの辺りで岡本さん、伊藤さん、ありがとうございました。私たちのいる世界も変わってきましたよ。<笑>はい。このイベントはサイレントヒル2だけでは終わらないんです。今後は世界中の才能を集めるクリエイターたちとサイレントヒルの世界を作っていきます。Half... まだ続きがあるんですかはい。そしてその新しいバージョンの一つをお披露目することができるんです。Yeah. ビデオの方をご覧ください。Why are you here? Just suffer? No. In this place, why are you here? You're to be punished. That's hey, same people who published the. You know what? I think you're right. I mean, we've done something so awful. We are stuck here in this place. We're being judged by these people. This is a brand new Silent Hill game? But for you, I think it's more than that. A no code game. I think you're here for some other reason. And I don't want to be anywhere near have... you. It's impressive they managed to make a game with no code at all. Fall? 
I thought it's a downfall for a second. Okay. Is that a new? Hi, I my assume? name is John McKellen. It's I'm new. the creative director at No Code, and we are working on Silent Hill Timefall. I remember playing the original Silent Hill on PS1 back in 1990. This is an interesting premise. Filming this and then putting it on a CRTV. And became a fan. Kind of gives like old school vibes, I guess. Moment on. So for us to work on this game with our friends at Annapurna feels like an actual dream come true. It's a real honor for us to bring a new title to this series that both respects the source material, but also does something a little bit different with it. To say that Silent Hill has been an inspiration to No Code would be a massive understatement. Our previous two games, Stories Untold and Observation, both played with that same Never deep psychological horror. Oh, Observation, and no Code, actually. Yeah, all about observation reading that narrative and that experience into every Is aspect of our game design. Maybe not. No, this is a t completely different game. Yeah, no. Never heard of it. When did it come out? 2020? Huh. I'll have to give that a try. What was the other one? Stories Untold. Stories Untold. Stories Untold. Stories Untold. Never heard of that either. Huh. <gasps> Okay. Played with that same deep psychological horror. And at No Code, we're all about weaving that narrative about and that experience no code. <laughs> into every aspect of our game design, our audio, our visuals, even our UI. So obviously the teaser trailer is just the beginning and we can't show you any more just yet. We're going to be hard at work for a while, uh, but we can't wait to come back in the new year and show you more. Okay. Until then, cool. it might be worth watching that trailer again and see what you might have missed. Wait, what trailer? This, this trailer. very we trailer? Back. We can't show you any more just yet. Into every horror. Previous two, and a new game design, and... We didn't see the trailer We can't yet. show you any more. Or are they now going to show the trailer? Like the real trailer? Or they, did they mean that specific? That was a trailer? Hi.実はちょっとしたカリフォルニアでのランチミーティングから始まったんですよ。アンナプルナインタラクティブとノーコードの大ファンだったので、この絶好の機会を必ず成功させたいと思ってます。サイレントヒルの新作を一緒に。And I まだ今日は言えないんですけれども、同様に素晴らしい才能を持ったチームと今後のパートナーシップを拡大していく予定です。それは素晴らしいですね。タウンホールが楽しみです。ありがとうございます。では、タウンホールの話はひとまずここまで
ということもあって、まあ、隣にいるプロデューサーの岡本と一緒に、まあ、ゲームと一緒に復活する道のりを歩んできたという感じになりますなるほど素晴らしいですねではここであのそのプロデューサープロデューサーの岡本と一緒に、まあ、ゲームと一緒に復活したいということもあって、まあ、隣にいるプロデューサーの感じになりますここであのそのプロデューサー、監督2名から熱いメッセージをいただいているのでご覧ください。But the fact that they just grabbed all this shit together they've been working on in secret all related to Silent Hill and made it one big event that's actually pretty lit. I'll give them props for that. And it came out before Halloween like that was definitely 100% planned, and I think it works. Is that the name of the film? This return is my return to a world, a universe, that I have uh, touched in uh, 2006, 15 years ago. The film was a great success, and we decided to go back to the best of his stories. And was it really a success? The film is the story of a young guy coming back to Silent Hill, where he has known uh, a great love. And what he's going to find is a, a pure nightmare. <laughs> I have the chance of being very close with Christoph, and we together has achieved to, to convince Konami that there is a new uh, version of Silent Hill that needs to be done. Needs and to be done. We are 100% on board. In the first Silent Hill, we were exploring a world. Was this world of this small with town them knowing it was getting revived? Or were, the were they just like, like, fuck it? Into the, uh, this is a good and time for it to come back day, all of a sudden you know, for no reason the in particular. The rules, you know? We were basically going back to Silent Hill, the same town. Okay. We were looking this strange I feel like they knew world. it was getting revived to begin with. The, and the it point was like perfect to combine it with a movie. You realize that Mary is lost somewhere. In so it's a film based off of the second one? Place. At his core, the game? it's also the idea of the It's the first coffee. movie based off and the first game? Because that would actually be lit, you know, if they're, that's what they're doing here. Hell to bring back well, I feel like it's just a sequel of based off of the events that happened in the first one. Or the person he loved. That's what it sounds like, at least. In his life. If ever so the idea of the myth of Orpheus and whatever a, a man can go deep in hell to bring back the soul or the person he loved the most in his life. So it's much more about psychological horror. Even how, if well, how we are going... I'm not even... Yeah, I am. So it's much more about psychological horror. Psychological, not psycho. Seiko. Even if we are going to find again all the same creature and the same strange terror sequence and things like that, but the first big interrogation and the first big terror is about ourselves. Are we mad? I don't know, are you? Are we sane? Are, are we sane to go back to Silent Hill to find this great love? This one now has so many years from the first one that there is a clear idea from Kristoff to make it modern but also very true to the video game and that's also what it is well I'm we glad are also respecting the will of the author the producer, that's good Konami, into this uh, hopefully adaptation. it works Kristoff it's really somebody that respects the work that has been done but that also has his own vision. It nurtures the creative vision of the authors of the game, but this, with I a different the vision whole from just a in filmmaker. This and both, Sorry. they have created, I believe, not something feel like that it. has struck the mind of the fans. James! Stop! Leave her alone! The Game of Silent Hill franchise, we are great Was that the original people, voice acting? And I have a responsibility to transpose it. Leave it alone! We are great artistic achievement. You tell me apart, Lisa. <laughs> and I have a responsibility to transpose that, that on the big screen, you know. 
Christoph is a real gamer. He has been immersed in this world. That's why um, the first film was so well received by the fans of Silent Hill, because they felt that uh, I was one of them, and it was so important for me to to respect the original creation. You know, that's fair. That, that was the base, the, the start of everything. Everything starts from this respect. So I'm going with a maximum of humility, a maximum of respect, but in the same time, I have quite a charge, quite a goal, which is how to transpose the language of the game, which is entirely about immersion, into a tell, into a story that we can tell in 90 or 100 minutes. The monsters are also one of the key elements it's be a short that the fans are waiting for. And we are updating those in a way that the creation is similar, but they will be striking. For me, one of my major goals in, in, in this film is how to redesign the classic monster of Silent Hill. Uh, I was talking about Red Pyramid, you know, this big guy with the helmet. <laughs> He's again in this one. He doesn't even Same know his name. That film. thing with the triangle on his head. I'm making the movie. I don't even know what he is. About, uh, back in uh, 2006, <laughs> were very, very appreciated by, by the fans. But in the same six, some of the creatures of the film of, uh, back in uh, 2006 were very, very appreciated by, by the fans. But in the same time, for me, it was, it was important to come back with, with surprise. It's a new universe. It's a new challenge. And those are very important to bring these icons differently to the audience because they want them to have that wow effect. That's why, you know, I found a very interesting collaboration with the people of Konami. They helped me a lot to achieve this new design of the monster because they are also working on new episodes for the franchise of Silent Hill. The younger what? audience, they want that collective experience. The monster, because they are also working on new episodes for the franchise of Silent Hill. It's a show too? The younger audience, they Is want that, that collective episodes? experience. They want to be with a friend. What? They want to talk about it, but they want also to live that experience. Hey, a show. Is it? There's only two up. No, this ain't it. Yeah, no. That that is not okay. That that statement was just very confusing. Yeah. Uh, we all know that uh, watching an horror film alone at his home is quite different of being into a big theater with. Maybe you just meant like episodes in like a new chapter of the Silent Hill. Uh, history? I, I don't know. And, and everybody jumping at the same time. Experience? It's very different. We are modernizing. We are giving... Uh, what the that kind of just spoiled some really game shit wanting. right there. We are trying to do as much as possible, creating a new experience for that audience. F in the chat. Could be... <coughs> F in the chat. And we have now new <coughs> Sorry. But <coughs> we still have... What Too big of a hit. The best is the story. F in the chat for Mary, though. So we I hope guess. that Return to Silent Hill will be a great return. And if we want uh, to keep the link with the audience, you know, we have to to be perfectly aware. There's still another 15 minutes of showcase or transmission. We have to bring back something, you know, very surprising. ジョルダ監督ありがとうございます。ゲームは映画に負けないように頑張っていこうと思ってます。映画とゲーム両方を最高のクオリティにしてファンにお届けしたいと思ってます。ファンとしてはもうゲームもまだまだ。I Actually, I just, I was just a fucking audience member, and you put a fucking coat on me and pretended I was a fucking <laughs> part of the production team here, huh? I don't know what's going on. 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 I don't know
イメージボードとかあるんですけど、実は撮影とかキャスティングはまだこれからなんですね。まあ今後。Did they actually had they actually had like real fucking live street saying props here? Fucking street lights or、uh, traffic lights. いろいろ映画の方も山場がいっぱいあると思うんで、こちらの方もまあゲームと一緒にいい作品になるように進めていきたいと思ってます。ありがとうございます。I think the film is honestly. Just, just with history repeating itself, I feel like the film. It's not going to do horrible, but I think it, the game's going to do better. The remake's going to be a fucking hit. The movie's going to do alright. That's my opinion. We'll see. From here, I would like to share with you some of Silent Hill. I just learned English in two seconds. <laughs> Sorry, was that racist? I feel like that was low key racist. No, it's cool that she knows. Well, no, she's been talking English this whole time, actually. That was extremely racist. My apologies. Because she has been speaking English, hasn't she? Give me this. Oh, no, no, she was just speaking. Okay. But maybe she did earlier. I don't know. Whatever. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I started the bottle like up here and now I'm down here, so. From here, I would like to share with you some of Silent Hill related items that will help you enjoy the game even more. Here is the first one we would like to introduce. From Gecko, you all very know, one sixth scale、I、statue、do. of Red Pyramid thing is coming.、Huh. Thoroughly supervised by the art director and the monster designer of Silent Hill 2, Masahiro Ito, all the details are brushed up. You can even see the details we couldn't express because of the video game spec at the time. The base capturing the scaffold can be connected, and you can recreate the scene of the final fight again. No, I'd give that like 75 bucks right there. That's my, uh, the price is right. Fucking lock in right there. Red Pyramid things. Up next, James Sunderland 1 6 scale statue. The realistic sculpture perfectly captures James's exhaustive facial expression. I feel、Not、like more, more people gun, get the, the pyramid one. Plank, The steel pipe and the great knife pairing up with Red Pyramid thing can be held in his right hand. At his feet, health drinks are tossed away. Maria Man, maybe that one would actually do more. No, that one is going to do more. 80. 85. The <laughs> Just because it's a girl. With the high quality and beautiful details. The right hand is interchangeable. No, she ain't, she ain't wearing revealing enough clothing. 75. Which appears in the sub scenario born from a wish. Last but not least, the secret ending. God damn it. The the, they're low key spoiling the game right here. Even I know about this that secret ending dog. The dog controlled the whole game or some bullshit. I don't even know. Inu End is also、He、recreated、everything. as a one sixth scale coin bank statue. The Hundred bucks. The diorama statue will remind you of the last scene. Where James collapsed to his knees. Dude, why、okay. are they doing this? Why? I mean, I guess it's an old ass game, so you should already know, especially if you're a fan and looking forward to a remake of a game you've beloved. Yeah, I guess it. I don't know. To people who've never played it, though, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? A dog? So Last scene? What? It was all your work. From here, we will introduce some products from the official Konami shop. Skateboarding? First, Silent Hill Board Collection. What? We made a collection that encapsulates all that horror and eeriness, featuring legendary games. I don't think of skateboarding when I think of Silent Hill.、Franchise. These、huh? 10 number limited decks are now available for pre order. In the official Konami shop, all these products are now available. This I can、Please、see more. Silent. Here's further information about Silent Hill goods. From Crazy Rock, One six scale fully articulated collectible figures of Red Pyramid Thing and Bubble Head Nurse are coming. How、They、much? They are high quality and fully articulated. 
How much? From Good Smile Company, Papa Parade Bubble Head Nurse is coming with affordable prices. Papa Parade affordable. is a series What's of affordable? figures that are easy to collect. Each figure typically stands around 17 to 18 centimeters in height. From Bedrock Collectibles. Oh wait, it says the price in the lower right height. or left. Collect. 40 for that. They are high quality and Oh, that's best the only one that has a price. The franchise. From here we will in statue will remind you of the last scene where James collapsed to his knees. But that TBD price TBD That was the only one that had an official price. The final fight against two red pyramids. But considering up the scene of the final fight against two red pyramid things. 42,000 so that's probably going to be like 42. Dollars, forty maybe. For Konami shop, here is further information articulated. We are from Good Smile Company. Papa Parade Bubblehead Nurse is coming with a affordable price. If that's close to what it would actually be. Papa Parade is a series of figures that are easy to collect. Each figure typically stands around seventeen to eighteen centimeters in height. Oh wait, no, that's only forty-eight hundred Japan and thirty-eight. I don't know. I don't know different pr between Japan pricing and regular pricing. Hopefully that that doesn't mean the other one's gonna be fucking few hundred. From Bedrock Collectibles, Red Pyramid Thing and Maria Elevator Chase Diorama is coming. This statue diorama captures a moment in time as Red Pyramid Thing readies to swing his great blade while Maria attempts to run away. Red and is that his actual name? Red Pyramid Thing. What a terrible this name. This will be coming soon to the Bedrock Collectibles website. Konami is proud to present all these items on Silent Hill e-commerce page. Don't miss it and secure your order. Hmm. Okay. That, that was like their fucking sponsored plug. Now the scene has changed and we have our next guest. Our next guest is Jacob Nabok. Jacob, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jacob Navok, and I'm the CEO at Genvid. Jacob, what will you be presenting this time? I'm going to show you a new kind of Silent Hill, an experience that you haven't seen up until now. A whole new experience. What is it all about? Please take a look at this video for a hint. For a hint? What is this? Scavenger? Oh, fucking clue. Oh, uh oh. What's on? So I was like, boom, ba doom, boom, ba doom, boom. If you know what joke I was trying to make, then good on ya. I hear it. Is it after it? Amina? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. My favorite? Run. Some modern day twist on Silent Hill? I... This don't even look like Silent Hill. This looks like some weird ass spin off. Made by four different people? Live? What do you mean live? It's like a multiplayer thing? Well, this is going to be another world of Silent Hill. Jacob, could MMO? you please introduce your project? For over 20 years, Silent Hill has haunted my memories. And lately, I enjoy watching streamers playing Silent Hill with their fans. We love the feeling okay. of being scared together, of experiencing fear with friends. It's why watching horror films in the theater is so fun. Okay. Silent Hill Ascension takes that feeling of communal fear to a massive scale. It's a live, real-time interactive series where millions of fans will watch together as the chilling story unfolds. Huh? You can change its outcomes and even be a part of scenes. What? There is no reset button. Decisions that you make like in show? life or death in the story. It's your chance to shape Silent Hill canon forever. Silent Hill Ascension is brought to you by Genvid, Bad Robot, Behavior, and DJ2. 
and goes live in 2023. I'm Sign up at still Ascension super confused. For updates. I'm so excited about this new world of Silent Hill. Shape Here are some messages we received from two important partners in the project. And two. It didn't show if it was like a show or a game. But considering the fact that it doesn't show any platforms it's coming out for, I'm assuming if it's it's like it's a show. Twenty years. With the live, real story unfolds. Interactive series where millions of fans okay, can yeah. even be a part of live series. interactive. There yeah. is no. It's a show. Agenda. I think. This new world is in the project. Robot as well as behavior. I see. Please introduce them. Today we're partners in the project. Robot. To read a message from director JJ Abrams. Gen Oh, okay, they're reading it. I was just about to. This experience presents a wild, epic, and innovative new way to immerse yourself in the horrors of Silent Hill. Next, please watch the message from the art director of Bad Robot and the creative team of Behavior Interactive. I'm Chris Amaral from Bad Robot Games and art director for Silent Hill. You chill Ascension. enough? Our approach Got a whole to chair and shit. is to ensure we maintain the tone and the feeling home? that the fans have come to love from the franchise, while also adding our own twist of an oppressed, tormented, and morose dimension of reality. Silent Hill creatures are often manifested projections from the darkest depths of the main characters' minds. In Silent Hill Ascension, we build off of this. You got, you got a little shit on your shirt. Our creatures are inspired by the personal traumas and internal demons of our characters' past lives. We want the art style to be a fresh take on the brand, while still being equally respectful to where we've been before. In 2021, we released Oh, this was the definitely recorded from his home. Survivor He's Cheryl chill Mason as fuck. Today, and, uh, dude, what again. is up with your book situation, dog? That annoys the fuck out of me, how everything is fucking not, like, straight. My OCD is off the fucking charts right now, dog. We'll dive into the world of Silent Hill, but with a completely new experience. Here's like Chris. A children, uh, it looks Vicky. like a background of a children's... Got the red fucking blue... We, we were watching Blue's Clues videos recently on stream. Got the whole Blue's Clues chair and everything. Got a whole fucking TV fucking show set right here creative of our service division to tell you all about it everyone at behavior is excited to announce <laughs> everyone's like in a different location it's our collaboration with genvid on silent hill ascension in a new form of entertainment that blends community live storytelling and interactivity silent hill ascension takes you and the entire community on a unique interactive storytelling experience where the decisions you make affect the characters and the world those decisions and become the world. canon and there's no reset button this is a whole new chapter for Silent Hill, with new characters and frightful monsters, where the stakes couldn't be more real. We're thrilled to be working with the talented teams at Genvid, Bad Robot, and DJ2 to bring Silent Hill Ascension to life. Never Look for heard it to go live in 2023 and sign up at ascension.com for updates. I can see the new Your camera was blurry the whole time. And DJ2 Not focused on you, by the way, at all. I can see the new charm of Silent Hill. The fun only gets better. Jacob, what do you think of the two messages? I like this. I like the, the set they had here. That definitely fits the vibe a lot better. I am thrilled to work with these incredible teams. Together, we're going to revolutionize what horror means in interactive media. That's fantastic. We are excited, too. I hope everyone watching this distribution is eagerly waiting this, this new Silent Hill. I am sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you, Jacob, for sharing your fascinating title with us today. Thank you for your time, Jacob. Thank you very much. They cut some uh, some shit out in between there, for sure. Oh, I forgot English. Okay, I'm sorry, that was racist. I think. Don't cancel me. Another? Thank you very much. Finally, we will leave you with that completely new video. Thank you for watching Silent Hill Transmission. For sure. Not actual gameplay footage. Yeah, 
choppy as fuck. Huh. Um. She's demented for sure. And that's kind of creepy. Huh? What happened? <laughs> the flowers eat you alive. The end. And then you swim the hell? Heaven? One of those two? Whatever you believe in. I guess those are part part of the same religion. Whatever. I'm not gonna get into religion. Okay. This lady grew from the ground. Oh! What the fuck, bruh? Silent Hill F indeed F in the chat. Oh my face cam's cover covering the F. It was like a red F. That that looks like some random YouTuber's name. <laughs> what? Interesting. Don't know what it is, but okay. That's what they want to end it on. That didn't explain shit. What the hell that is? No release dates, but it shows that the Silent Hill series as a whole is getting like a big new revival, which it very much needed because it was dead in the waters ever since the failure that was PT and what happened with that. And that's it. That's it for Silent Hill Transmission. The stream. Alright, well, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna watch a tiny bit more. Even though it's already 9 in the morning, I might watch a tiny bit more. But I'm gonna end the video and upload this probably immediately. Considering this is the most relevant thing I've recorded reaction-wise since the birth of my YouTube After Hours series. So just so you know, YouTube, this is a series I started recently where I basically just watch YouTube videos inspired by fucking Penguin Zero Critical watching YouTube videos and making, like, review-related content, but, like, chopped up in a way. This, this is going on my Raw and Uncut channel, though, so I'm just gonna have it be one big reaction video, but... Despite that fact, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Maybe, hopefully, in one of these fucking games that they announced. That'd be cool. Hell yeah. That's it for Silent Hill Transmission, though. Peace.